back to Ridgetop Survival today. We're going to be talking about multi-tools under $5. Okay, working in order from least efficient to most efficient, I consider this to be one of the least efficient multi-tools I've ever used in my entire life. It's a dollar at the Dollar Tree. We've done a video on it. The uses are very minimal. You've got a tiny saw blade on here that can't cut much as it's very dull very small the teeth are aggressive but it's just not very useful for anything other than fluffing up some uh, fat wood i mean you could you could saw into the fat wood and you'd get some good tender knife blade i mean good enough to cut into an mre into your mountain house maybe a piece of paracord some bank line that's just about it next up we've got a walmart special from the camping section and it's just a little multi-tool, doesn't have much on there. And you got a screwdriver, you got a little knife blade, you got a flathead screwdriver, you got a little can opener, bottle opener. But this one, the only reason it's more efficient than the $1 multi-tool is the flashlight. It's not bright at all, but it's something gives you something to work with. Way better than being out there without a light at all. Let's see if we can get a spark with this one. Feels like it's gonna lock back and cut myself. Not a very sturdy tool at all. You can push it down. I don't know if you can see that. You can push it down with the ferro rod instead of actually striking. It, it's basically got some play in it. See, it just tried to close up. This, I wouldn't recommend carrying for anything. I mean, it's got a flashlight on it, but so does the Smith's Pocket Pal X2. Which I would recommend over keeping one of these in your pack. It's a significantly heavier than the previous multi-tool. And it just, you don't get much out of it at all. So let's just move on to the next one. Next up, we've got another $1 multi-tool from Dollar Tree. This has scissors, a knife blade, Phillips screwdriver, nail file, can opener, bottle opener, flathead screwdriver, and a corkscrew. Basically, it's knife blade's good enough. Really dull. But it's got... It's got an edge on it. It's just really dull. We'll see if it'll strike the fair rod. Right? I mean, it would work if you had to use it, but I'm not gonna put myself in that situation. This thing is all around junk unless you're carrying something you need a corkscrew with, because Pretty sure that's the only multi-tool we've got out here this evening with a corkscrew on it. So there's that, do what you will with it. We're just gonna keep on moving forward. Next up, we've got this multi-tool card you've seen on the video before. It's the only multi-tool out here with a protective sheath. Not that we need anything with that. Comes in at $2.76 at the moment. It's You've seen what's on it. If you need to see more about it, look up the video on the channel. I'll link it in the description. We know it'll strike a ferro rod. Does a pretty good job at that. Does a pretty good job at only that because other than that, you've got what I would consider a bottle opener, a knife, and a can opener. Nothing else on here really matters. Unless for some reason you need a ruler, which I don't. So we'll just keep moving forward to the next one. Next up, we've got the Eaton Tool by Columbia River Knife and Tool Company, CRKT for short. You've got a spork. You've got some different wrenches on here. Not that you can do a whole lot with that. You've got a bottle opener. This I consider more useful than the ones before because it serves a specific purpose. I mean, it's one solid piece of metal. 
can't bend it. You can use it to eat. It's lightweight, doesn't take up much space at all. You could fold it up inside your bandana, put it in your cook kit. You got a way to clean your cook kit and something to eat with. Now this is not going to strike a ferro rod. I mean, it is what it is, but you should have a dedicated striker or another knife with a 90 degree spine in your bag anyways. So we're just gonna keep moving forward because this serves a certain purpose, but it's not what I would consider your best bang for your buck under $5. Next up, we're finally getting into something that can be a little, little bit useful. It's the Cabela's Multi-Tool. These are $5.99, but I picked this one up for $4.99, so I'm throwing it in here. It's the first one on the list with a pair of pliers. They're nice and tiny. You can get splinters out with them. Use them for other things. It's got the little wire cutters on there that if you try to cut any real wire, it's not going to hold up. My only problem with this is after a while of using it, one of the screws backed out, never found it, and now I'm left with this, which it's not a big problem, but it's not a tool I'm going to use. The knife is probably the sharpest out of the first ones we've went through. You've got a saw blade on this one, which is a little bit aggressive, but still small enough. It's only working with your tender. Also got a pair of spring-loaded scissors. That's always handy. And a couple odds and ends. Nothing important. And you got your typical screwdrivers, because everybody knows when you're in the woods, you need a screwdriver for no reason at all. But they're there if you need them. Pliers are spring-loaded comfortable in your hand as long as you don't have to really grip it you should be all right but i mean you can squeeze this and it's not just gonna fall apart i mean obviously this fell off but if you bought one and this was all you could afford and you stuck it in your pack just take those screws out one at a time lock tight them put them back in and you shouldn't have a problem but we're gonna go ahead and move forward to the number one multi-tool for under five dollars Next up, we've got the Ozark Trail. Comes in at $4.87 on Walmart's website or in store. Pretty sure sometimes you can catch them for a dollar cheaper than that, but it's got spring loaded pliers, long needle nose. It's got the wire cutters that you still can't cut a whole lot with, but it'll do good enough. You got a decent knife blade. You've got Phillips head, flat head, and a can opener in there. Then on the other side, we've got a file and some more smaller screwdriver heads. And then a saw that could, it leaves a lot to be desired. If it had the same design as the other multi-tools with the saw blades on it, if the teeth were more aggressive, this size would be just about right for your small tasks. I mean, it's nothing like a Baco Laplander or Silky Saw or even those Ozark Trails, but it's it's enough you could have used it if it was more aggressive. But these teeth just leave a lot to be desired. We'll have a video coming out on this soon. This is also the only one under five dollars that comes with its sheath. Now I can tell you I wore this one on my belt for probably three months. I'd say it would only last you about a year before the stitching is completely done. I mean you could probably you could just about rip it off. But, I mean, that's just living everyday life. But what you see is what you get. I recommend everybody giving this a shot. But uh, we're going to go ahead and give you a follow-up on this. I just wanted to break these out to make the point that I'm not recommending you get the cheapest multi-tool you can. Because, honestly, this is going to last longer than all the other multi-tools that we've shown before it's going to do a better job it's it's a better product all around it just is what it is it's got decent decently aggressive teeth it's not just going to rust it's got a really nice knife the tools lock when they when they pull out and you got to pull it down to put them back in got a good file two different sides to it you got re replaceable wire cutters that actually do a really good job 
The only thing is these pliers are not spring loaded, which I can live without knowing that the tool is gonna last longer. Or you could go with something like the Leatherman. It comes with its own sheath as well. The pliers on this one are not spring loaded. I've wore out the wire cutters. I do not carry this anymore because of the abuse I've put it through. It's just not a good tool anymore. Leatherman is a phenomenal brand, but I do not recommend this one in specific. I mean, it's one of the first ones they made. It's old, worn out. It just sets in a drawer now. And this one's my go-to. So do with this what you will. Best multi-tool under $5, Ozark Trail. If you don't agree with that, that's fine. Drop it in the comment section. Let us know what you think the best one is. I'm Coyote, and I'm out.